Hey YouTube, how's it going? Yeah, it's going mighty slow is how it's going. It's going slow and dragged out and delayed and procrastinated and then it's headache and jaw pained and tooth pained and neck pained and pain pained and so on and so forth. Yeah, all kinds of things that I could list inevitably interminably and uh, bore the snot out of you but who wants that? Nobody. Yes, exactly. Anywho, yeah, I've I've been very bad as in performing poorly at doing any kind of regular anything these days and uh, so I'm going to see if I can't make some change with that. I know. Famous last words. How many times have I said something like that and nothing come of it? I know that. It doesn't change the fact I'm going to try again anyway. <laughs> okay. Any hoozle. Uh, we got a thing here, a fan fiction review, and this one is a title that I, it caught my eye. Harmony Potter, Starfleet Raised. So we've got an alternate Harry Potter, this one being Harmony Jamie Potter instead of Harry James Potter, and uh, It's an interesting story. And right up off the get-go, we have Q from the Continuum on Earth in the late 20th century because Picard told him something about uh, you get to see the best of people and the worst of people in that time. Okay. He hears a loud mind cry, it's described as. Somebody screaming, screaming out for help, and mentally speaking. Next thing you know, Q is at this infamous little house at number four, Privet Drive, Surrey. And, uh, yeah, and so... This is a five-year-old Harmony, whatchamacallit, yeah. So he decides he's going to take her somewhere else. First, there is recovery from the fact that the whale Vernon Dursley is uh, doing this whip the kid bloody because she did better than the stupid whale's son. Yeah in school. That that was a thing. Harry Potter had to make sure not to do too good in school because if he if he scored better than his cousin Dudley Dursley, he got in trouble big time. And that it did include beatings if I recall the story correctly. But whether it's in the canon story like that or not, I don't remember to be truthful. I think it is, but uh it certainly is in this story. So he takes the kid off to Hogwarts because for some reason Q cannot heal a magical. Strange. You wouldn't think there was anything the Continuum couldn't do. Anyhow, a few, uh, a, a little while in the uh, Hogwarts hospital wing, basic healing is taken care of, and then Q takes her off to where she's going to be raised until she's 16, and that is to the Delta Quadrant aboard the USS Voyager. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Apparently, 
he has to go get another person with whom Harmony has a soul bond. And therefore he goes back to England and picks up Hermione Granger because this Hermione Granger's parents are frankly almost as bad as Thursley's in their own way. And so he ends up taking her to the Voyager. And uh, thus begins a long trip, a long adventure for them. This is a story that's about a little over 100,000 words in uh, 22 chapters. It, it covers a lot of time, but it's, I don't think the author's actually skipping over too much because it, it's a balance of how much you include of the details of day to day versus uh, moving things along when you're covering a, a span of uh, 12 to 14 years, you know. It does include uh, some of the canon events such as uh, the Triwizard Tournament and the Goblet of Fire and, and so on. The kids are raised aboard the Voyager to Federation standards of education with Q taking time out to go back in time, learn magic and all about magic from a lot of famous people including the Hogwarts founders and including taking time to actually attend Hogwarts for seven years at the same time that Albus Dumbledore was. <laughs> Interesting, yes. And uh, then he goes back to the Delta Quadrant and starts showing up there once a week to teach the kids on the magical side of things. They end up being somewhat overpowered very educated and so on. It's very good. A little off off to one side of things, you know, and uh, definitely, absolutely worth a read. Definitely. And what's good about this is the story is actually complete. It's all there. So definitely check that out. The link is in the description. I have been blathering on for over eight minutes now. I think it's time for me to shut up and say thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here. Mr. Temple, sir.